Boy. Boom. Welcome back to the Locked In channel. <laughs> We're having an, an event on the 18th, 18th of July. Of July. Tuesday, yeah? And we're having, we're literally screening our wedding video. We decided to put on a screening of the and wedding video. And we survived video. one year, it's our one year anniversary. We survived <laughs> one year. I didn't, you know. <laughs> we survived, and we're still here. Come we're still on. going uh, somewhat strong. Come yeah, on. so we're literally doing <laughs> screening. The link will be below. Come and enjoy with us, oh, dance with us. Boom. Everything with us. We're gonna have DJ Anson spinning what? on the deck. Yeah. We're gonna have the video showing a, a intimate Q and A with oh, Cass wow. and Carl. Wow. Yes, yeah, so just come, come down. Oh, okay, so we'll see you there on the 18th of July. Stay hashtag locked in. Bye bye. Okay, guys, I just want to tell you that we promise, yeah. yeah, we're gonna make a promise to you to be consistent. Oh, wow. We promise to have a video out once a week. Nah. We said Wednesday, but I feel like it's Thursday because we always, it's like we aim for Wednesday and always get out on the Thursday. But then if we aim for Thursday, it's gonna come out Friday. <laughs> so let's just keep it. Yeah, so Wednesday. So we keep it like Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we'll have a video for you. We are, look. We talk about it being consistent, yeah. being persistent, yeah. and it breaks through on it, and ah. we're not being consistent, and we're not being know, persistent. He just roared like a lion. I Don't did. worry, I'll get, it in. I'll get it in on the edits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to today. Okay, we decided, yeah, we're thinking about what can we talk about, blah, 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 blah. So we decided that we want to talk about today exes. Do you like I said that? Exes. X. Exes. Yeah. And outside to Carl, right? Let's just talk about our worst scenario in a past relationship. And it is so funny what Carl began to say and what I'm going to say, but we're going to tell you, obviously. Um, ladies first, you know. Okay. I was going to say ladies first. Yeah. So basically, you know, another story time. Yeah. All right. Okay. You know, I kiss a lot of frogs, right? <laughs> and I was literally going out with this one boy and I was in fact chew ate it. Wow. No. In fact chew ate it of him. Infatuated. It's gonna come up there, yeah. And I literally thought like he was God's gift. You just moved the camera. He was God's gift like to mankind. I felt like he was dropped out of the sky, especially for me. And he used to play all these games with me and like, yeah, it just went funny. He ended up dead. You know, I think I was like, how old was I? Sorry, guys. Yeah, you just messed up the whole thing straight, right? right. No, you messed it up first. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think I was, I can't remember my age, maybe 14, 15. I was young. I was in secondary school and I started going out of him. I was in love with him. I felt like I was in love with him. I was in secondary school. I didn't know what I was. And then, anyway, we ended up breaking up. And he ends up going out with my friend. Ooh, scandal. Scandal. And you know that time that friend code, he went out with my friend. Mm. I was burnt. Burnt. B U R N T. Burnt. 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 And then, you know, to get over it, I was like, oh, whatever, anyway, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, yeah, she was going out with him. And then sh he went prison. <laughs> scandal again. And he got a bird, yeah? That means he got a very long time. Mm. So he got a long time. And I remember that I was like to her, <laughs> I was like to her, let me get his DLs. Like, I just want to, like, closure. I just want to chat to him for closure. But in my head, and this friend, we're still very good friends. She's going to know what to go. I was like, I just want closure. Like, can I get his DLs? Like, and then I think I'll stay with her at the time. She was like, why? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, well, like, because I want them, and then she gave me them anyway. So I, I mm. messaged him, and obviously he became mine again, because mm. that's what I wanted, didn't it? So that was my intentions, and that's what happened. This is really scandalous, it's so <laughs> funny. So anyway, we was writing, and I don't know if anyone's ever had a boyfriend that's in prison before, yeah? 
but we would write these letters, like these dreams. And I think that's why I thought like I like this, like, I mean, it would be like, and then we're gonna run to each other, and then you're gonna pick me up when you come out, and you're gonna be like, woo! Eric. And we're gonna run across so the He's Eric. He's Eric. Okay. Who's cool. Eric? He was Eric. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, and then we're gonna do this, and we're gonna get our house together, and we're gonna. I just used to make. And with me, I'm a dreamer. I'm a. I love stories. I'm a dreamer. I love film. So it's like I just created my own. Like I think we'll just do creative writing to each other, <laughs> basically, yeah. And then anyway, so one day I was on the bus. I was going. This is like so this. Well, by the time he started, he was in prison. I was in college now. So I'm on the bus, I'm talking to him on the phone to my friend. I'm like, hello, like, yeah, like, obviously, like, he's in prison and that, like, Joseph and that, and <laughs> like, yeah, but like, obviously, like, you get me, like, I just love him and all of that and all of that. And then, like, just imagine this big conversation, like, and I'm just happy, like, my man's in prison. I don't know what's wrong with me, but anyway, I was just happy, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then some girls are like, I'm like, so I'm like, um, yeah. She's like, um, excuse me, are you talking about Joseph? And on at the time, that's it. I didn't even mention the person's name. So she comes to me, she's like, excuse me, do you go out with Joseph? And I'm like, yeah. How do you know? And she's lift, literally lifted up her leg and been like, that. And she has a tattoo <laughs> of his name on. on her leg. Wow. No, 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 no. Let me say it again. A tattoo wow. of his name. And I'm like. What? Joseph's my man though. So at this point, I think it was just after Valentine's Day. I'm confused. Like, I swear to you, I'm confused. And then we we devised this plan together. You know you can't talk to the person like, nah, watch. Like, we should just go on a visit together. Like, is he taking the mic? But all this time I'm thinking, you're not his girl, man. You're not. Like, I'm just thinking, you're not his girl. I just, in my head anyway, and I'm just kind of heartbroken, but not too heartbroken, because I think I kind of had a boyfriend. Outside, outside. Oh, so not too heartbroken. <laughs> 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 so not too heartbroken, and I remember, yeah. So, but heartbroken. Don't get me wrong, heartbroken. So I remember that I think I spoke to him. He was like, "No, I just, you know, send her this and send her that. Like, um, oh, she sends me this and she sends me that, but it's not that serious." But I just remember that every time, God be my witness, I went to visit him and sat down. A guard would come over and be like, "Another one today, yeah." And he'd be like, shush, man, shush, I'm being silly. Like, oh, he's German it. <laughs> he wasn't German it. I was probably the seventh, eighth or ninth. What I want to know was, she had a tattoo of his name. Yeah. Was she the main and you the side? Or was she no, 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 no. What was that? She was confused. Are you sure? <laughs> she, yeah, look, she was a, In the end, he told, she thing. told me, yeah. he, she told me, oh, yeah, he told me that you're his girl. Wow. She was a... And I couldn't believe because obviously we're in college, we're young. But obviously, I know that I felt like he was God's gift to mankind, so she just must have got gassed up too. And I just literally, that is my worst story. That I was on a bus, yeah, <laughs> talking about, yeah, my man in prison, and this girl randomly just know it was him. Wow. She has six, seven, nine cents. <laughs> she knew that it was him and she showed me the tattoo and it was like a da, 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 moment. It was EastEnders mm. moment in the flesh. Wow. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's deep. It's a story, right? It's a story. It's a story time. Yeah. <laughs> so my worst... <laughs> I can't draw from a huge list of frogs. I can't, I can't it's not French charm, so I'm not going to say frogs, but... I just didn't really date prior, you know. I had one girlfriend before getting with Cass. We'll talk so, about this after. Yeah, so, it, okay, the definitions of a yeah, relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Anywho, yeah, so, cut a long story short, I used to, you know, be involved in things I shouldn't, as you guys know, and I smoked a lot of weed, yeah? yeah. So I'm talking about 15 spliffs a day, yeah? I'm pretty sure you call it spliffs in the US, wherever you call it, it's marijuana, yeah? Zoots, yeah? And I'll have 15 of those, so I was... The pen, the chong. Yeah, the chong, whatever <laughs> it is. <yeah. laughs> and I was extremely paranoid. So as a result of it, I lived, like, kind of constantly looking over my shoulder, assessing everything, you know, checking everyone. And that included my girlfriend, you know? So unfortunately, yeah, she kind of went through my scrutiny so I would ask her a million questions you know I was um young men that knew of me in South London would maybe see her at a party venue call me saying you know what I see 
so and so in here, you know, I'll be like, all right, pass her the phone, their phone to her, saying, all right, just so you know, you got eyes on you, so have fun, but not too much fun, you know. It was it was a different time. So part of this kind of like security check, because I am like the president, yeah, we need this sort of like intelligence, was open up your phone. Wow. Yeah. It's a different life. Though. I live a life of luxury. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, open up your phone and then she would be like, why, why do I need to open it? It would go back and forward. And then I'm, I was very convincing back then. So then her phone would open and I would go through and then... This one time I saw a message, no, I saw no messages and I'm like, this girl is just such a good girl, but <laughs> I lived in a world where I didn't believe in good girls, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't believe in good girls, so I'm like, nah, something ain't adding up. So maybe she's just on point and deleting, she's aware, but I'm like, no, no one, everyone slips once in a while. Cut a long story short, my sixth, seventh, eighth sense, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Literally, no, one kicked no, no. In. it kicked in on some next and I'm like because I've gone through all these boys' names, why don't I try to check a girl's name? <laughs> <laughs> so I've gone through, checked and saw something under a, a young lady's name, and I'm like, wow. That's mad. This is very interesting. So you need to explain what's going on here because this is very interesting, you know? <laughs> so she explained and obviously the explanation wasn't feasible so I knew that something was going on. Cut a long story short, something was going on, yeah? And I ended up basically saying that, you know what, because at the time she, I reckon, uh, yeah, no, actually I'm positive that obviously she was going after the kind of like boyish girls, you know? So... I thought, wow, if it's a boyish girl, I'm going to treat them like a boy, you know? So I started saying, you know, I'm going to go find out who's who and da, 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 and then chat to them and see what's going on, you know? And I really did come on the phone to them like they were GMs, you know, um, gang members. I literally just was like, you know what? Blah, 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 blah. And cut a long story short, I think the phone was passed to somebody or I don't know, it was somebody else's. I don't know how I got this number. <laughs> but I end up basically saying out, oh, no, no, tell me X, tell me Y, and they're all lying for each other, you know. They're right now, they can see that I'm, I'm, I'm being very serious. Cut a long story short, the girl that I was actually having the <laughs> main kind of <laughs> yeah, it's just funny how life goes. Look, life the is no coincidence. Girl that I was speaking to and basically wanting to find so I could, yeah was literally the same girl Cass was with EastEnders literally look I do you know why it's I mad because when he was saying to me I remember the time when Bloody he actually called and she told me after that this 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 kind of happened and obviously at the time that was supposed to be my girl boyfriend whatever so I remember her being like no it's not even that it's like so imagine I, he's called, I don't know him, but I know that this person's called. And it's only now that I know that this person is Politics. my husband. Politics. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. you got that out, you know? You got that out, it's out there. It's Go out there, there. public yeah. knowledge. Right, sweet. Look, this is, sometimes, yeah, it's funny because I was like, Carl, what's inspirational about this? It's a story, okay, cool, but I like to go on inspiration. But for me, it's just to show you how much we've changed. Like, even I'm <laughs> retelling the story, I'm telling the story and I feel yeah. like it's somebody else. It's so far from who I am now. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, in terms of, like, even how many people, what we said about how to define a relationship. Yeah, how to define I genuinely have had about... <sighs> 20 boyfriends. <laughs> and the frogs. <laughs> and yeah, when I was thinking about it, I was like, wow, 20 whole boyfriends. Probably even more, I can't remember. There was times where I'd be out and then someone introduced me, so I'd be like, hi, nice to meet you. And I'd be like, what do you mean nice to meet you? And then my friend would be like, don't you remember you used to talk to him? <laughs> no, Cass doesn't remember. And don't get me wrong, like, I know you're probably thinking, huh? When I say that I had 20 boyfriends, I didn't sleep with, I hadn't slept no, with no, no. any. I met Cass a virgin. Yes. So, no. It's, and, and you know what it is? People will be like, oh, Cass, but well done. I commend you. I swear to you that it was God 
he supernaturally <laughs> done something. Because, like, I used to always talk out, yeah, I would, like, sleep at a boy's house, I would, but never do anything with the boy. And, okay, so I'm, I know I'm gonna probably get comments, yeah, that's because on my other video we got some comments. Like, oh, she's lying, oh. Lying. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Carl can, you know like when every group of people Carl's known, does that make sense? Like, he's known the groups, the groups can testify, you guys can testify I was a good girl. But yeah, literally, I don't know what, it's like, I would, it's, I don't know, they friends, it's like, it was like we was best friends, but we were now. I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't actually. It's just a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't actually like a. And I was like her opposite. Basically. So he went out of one person, but I don't know how many people he slept with. So <laughs> that's why I said, what constitutes what a defines relationship? a relationship? Sexual because relations for me is not a relationship. Okay, because and then for me, even though now probably the people that I went out would say that we didn't go out because we didn't do any. Some of them I didn't even kiss. Yeah, it's not like I kissed twenty people. No, I probably kissed two. Like literally, I, that whole group. Really I don't even know what we did. Like I'm not joking. Like. Hey, you're right. <laughs> literally, like, we, I remember one of my exes would be like, you're just like my friend, man, shut up. Like, we'll just literally, it weren't, I don't know. You did hit me quite hard. This Sorry, I'll like just that. let you know. Kind of yeah, you that. did, yeah? Sorry, so. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, it just showed me how far I've literally come. I don't know how you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What do you mean? Mm. I didn't try, the reason why I didn't have girlfriends is because I was the hate preacher against relationships. I would stand up, I was given a podium in my estate and I would speak and I would say, call your girlfriend now, how do you know where she is? And they'll call her and I'd be like, listen, guys have called the girls I'm with that are saying that, yeah, now I'm at home, I'm tired and right now they're not tired, you know? <laughs> they're with me, you know? So how do you know she's not lying to you? They're like, but, 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 but. I literally, I was responsible yeah, for so you many didn't trust, I, you didn't really I trust girls. no trust yeah. in any sort of anybody, even to the point where I wanted to scrutinize the girls list in my, in my ex's phone book. No trust, but that's all changed. That's all changed. You know? And I just feel like as well, like I, I was with one of my friends the other day and one of our friends, little sister, your cousin, so I'm just little sister came in. Yeah. And then, not little sister, little niece. And then I was, she, we were just talking and then it was like, you know what, she's 16. And I looked at her and I was like, wow, I remember that. Mm. I remember being that age younger than that. I wanted to have a boyfriend and all these things. And we were just telling her, you know, don't worry about boys, they're confused. I have a yeah. clue, especially at 16. And she was like, I don't care about no boys. And I'm, I kind of feel like in this generation, it's much less about, like, I don't feel like, I don't know, actually, because I'm not this, that generation, but I don't feel like, that generation cares so much about. I remember that was my. I, I met a little girl. She was seventeen, and she had started her own business. And I was like, "Your own business?" At seventeen, I was outside <laughs> looking for a boyfriend. I think, like, literally wandering the streets you must for not. number twenty-one. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's like, so the fact that I feel like people are really. They're more on, it's like, because of, I think there's the Instagram era, more yeah. about being your own boss. Lot more exposed, yeah, yeah, more about being your own. And it's good. Like, all of our younger followers, all of our followers in general. You're getting it, man. Just get it. Like, get it. and a lot, like, I, I talk to a lot of people and they'll be like, in our generation, there's no, there's those, they'll basically say to me, oh, Casper, there's no one to, um, there's no one to go out with. There's no boys out here. And I'm like, you need to level up. Once you up your, like, once you start doing, boss girl things and you start I don't know getting into your career or into education or whatever you're gonna meet a new crowd of people if you're in the, changes. the gravity if yeah. you're in the same like yeah. you're always in the same I remember mum used to always be like to me Cass don't look at these boys in your area because all these boys you're just gonna all end up going out of each other <laughs> look past that mum used to have some real wisdom for me you know yeah. I swear and I'd be like yeah like it's true and then when you look at people in the states they all go out with the same people because that's all you see that's all you know it even happens right. in churches sometimes that's all you see that's all you know but it's the more you, more things you do, the more people you, the more right, different man. people you'll meet, and people on your level. Change the you know, frequency, baby. Change the frequency, but that's our relationship story, man. Yeah, man, that's all the past relationships, you know. That twenty-one. Come on, man. Or twenty, twenty-one. Probably. Tw twenty with the one or one. Twenty-one. Yeah, twenty to one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty to one, but yeah, yeah, man, stay locked in. Come on. A video will be out every Wednesday. We. Promise, and we love you. Come on, we love you guys. Ah, uh. oh, yeah. <laughs>